Welcome back to the PLG123. This is episode 62, and today's tab is about MailChimp's potential suitors. Let's dive in. Okay, so a few weeks back in the PLG123, I talked about reports that MailChimp was putting itself up for sale. I said that private equity seemed like a more likely path to me than strategic, but Bloomberg now reports that Intuit is in talks to buy the company for more than $10 billion. This is definitely a surprise to me as Intuit was not on my radar screen at all for this deal before. I had pointed to companies like HubSpot, Square, and Shopify as the three potential acquirers that made sense to me, and I was thinking about both strategic fit along with market cap and ability to purchase something at this size and scale. And of those three, Square was probably the most likely given the overlap in the customer segment, but also the fact that Square has been making a big push recently into MarTech add-ons for its merchants. But if Bloomberg is to be believed today, I'm barking up the wrong tree. Intuit's B2B business serves a similar customer segment with QuickBooks and other back office tools for small businesses. Acquiring MailChimp would be an aggressive move into the front office of these small businesses by acquiring a full-fledged marketing cloud with a lot of brand recognition and a lot of customer love. I guess my one big question is, how well suited is Intuit to navigating the highly competitive, ever-changing world of MarTech? Compared to accounting software, it's not quite as sticky or complex, and there are new alternatives to consider almost every day. Well, that does it for today on the PLG123. Make sure to follow me and tune in tomorrow for another new tab.